Hi, today I'm going to show you how to convert your text into a table. There are several different uses for this, so I'm going to show you both. I've currently got a document set up where I've got a series of columns that I have um, inserted. And if you have a look at how I've constructed them, you'll see that I've been using the tab key. This enables you to get nice straight columns when inserting information such as this. If I was to simply go up and highlight all my text, go to insert, down to table, down to convert text to table, this dialog box will come up here. And I will have checked this separate text at the tabs key, which identifies all the tabs and separates your um, text uh, into the various cells. If I click OK, you can see that it hasn't quite done what I want it to do. And this is because for every tab I used, it creates an additional cell. So what I need to do is to ensure that there's only one tab separating each column, which tells Word that the next column should be in the next cell along. So if I go back and I highlight my tabs and simply separate it by one tab, and again here I just separate everything by one tab here, then everything should be in the next cell along. If we go back up to insert table, go down to convert text to table and again ensure the tabs icon is checked and click OK and we still haven't got it quite right now there is a reason for this although it shows here that we have just one tab between these two pieces of information if I just click onto the front of this three here and I just press the delete button, you can see there's a gap here. Although there's nothing showing up in blue, there is a tiny gap here. And that has um, told Word that there's an additional piece of information in here and it's separated out another cell. So if you just press delete again, and if you ensure that there's actually nothing between these two pieces of information, then press your tab key. And although there's nothing showing, there is something there. Now, if I go back up, and I highlight my text one more time. I go up to insert, table, convert text to table, make sure the tab's checked, click OK. You can see it's converted it beautifully into a table. And the second thing you might want to do is to convert actual text that you've written in paragraphs into a table. So let's say, for example, I wanted to highlight these three paragraphs, I go up to insert, table, convert text to table, it's separated by paragraphs, and click OK. So what that's done is it's separated it out into a table, but it has also put in an additional cell or row between your paragraphs. If that's what you want, then great. If not, the reason for that is again because we have this return icon here and again at every return icon it will introduce an additional cell so if we don't want that additional cell we simply get rid of the return keys highlight our text once again just take this off go to insert table convert text to table and click OK and then our text is converted beautifully into a table. Now, if you wanted to reverse this, you would simply highlight your table. You'd go up to the layout icon up here. And then you'd simply go along to the convert to text icon. And with your dialog box, you simply check tabs and click OK and it will revert back to your text. 
and the same on this one the layout and convert to text now if you decided that within your text you wanted to put this sentence here or this couple of sentences here into one cell and then the next cell down you wanted to put this set of sentences and again in the next cell down this one and so on and so forth what you simply have to do is tell Word where you want to separate those cells so after your full stop you simply enter a figure of your or a, um, a symbol of your choice I'm going to use the star key so after my full stop I'll enter the star key once again here and once again here then I'll highlight my paragraph, go up to insert, table, convert text to table. But what you will see here is that you've actually, uh, Word has identified four possible columns. Now I don't want four columns, I simply want one column, but I want four different rows. So you reduce the amount of columns up here, and then you need to check other down here and make sure you enter the particular symbol that you've used to separate out your text then click OK and your paragraph will be separated out into four beautiful rows well I hope that's helped you if it has please subscribe and have a great day